Hello, we're here in the home of Paul and Chrissy Kudazakis, who are about to welcome a brand new addition to their family. And House Smarts is here to learn all about how to make room for baby. Paul and Chrissy, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. And congratulations. Thanks. So I understand you guys made the ultimate sacrifice. This used to be your bedroom, no? Yep. That's, That's right, true. yes. So the, where, uh, where are you living now? We uh, took all of our furniture out, moved it to our loft area uh, to make room for baby. Great. So let's talk a little bit about your vision for the room. I know you're working under a little bit of space and budgetary constrictions. Talk about what you want the room to look like. But we don't know what we're having. So first we're thinking something gender neutral. Mm -hmm. We want something modern, something consistent with the rest of the house, but also something fun, something that we'll enjoy just as much as the baby. But mostly we're clueless. <laughs> so we're so glad you're here. Great. Well, we have Carly Roney here from the nestbaby.com to give us some advice. While I'm talking to Carly, why don't you guys go out there and start unpacking your stuff? Okay. Great. Can't wait. Thanks. Joining me now is Carly Roney from TheNestBaby.com. Carly, welcome to the show. Thank you. So this is a decent sized room for a baby. Um, what kind of tips do you have for parents who are working with a really small space? So the first thing you have to do is prioritize. Do you really need the lounge chair with ottoman? Probably not. Stick with the basics like the bed, the changing table, the bureau. Also, find furniture that has multiple purposes. A dresser that has a changing table on top. Multifunction furniture is important. And finally, also things that are stackable, foldable, that you can put away when you're not using them and only take them out when they need them. Those are some important tips for those tiny rooms that babies get in. All right, great. Well, let's get to work. Okay. <laughs> All right, now this is coming together. All right, so aside from the multifunctional furniture that you see, what are some other items that parents can use to help maximize space? Oh, it's all about storage. Honestly, there's so much stuff when you have a baby. So look at these are great boxes. You want to keep everything together, like with like is the best storage idea. And like you see, these boxes are collapsible as well. So when you're not using them, get a lot of them that match so it still looks stylish, but then put them away. And then this is a portable diaper changing caddy. It has everything in one place, all that stuff, so it keeps away from from all the clutter and leaves room to change baby. So. <laughs> all right, let's see what else we've got. Come on, guys. Wow, Carly, it looks great. Oh, right. Now, where did you get all this stuff? All this great furniture came from babystyle.com, and they actually have furniture even for tinier spaces. They have the oof crib, which is has a changing table right on top of it, and the stokey crib, which is just tiny for, for parents who have no space. Okay, well, that's no space. What if they have no money? What about budget? You know what? what? All of this furniture only costs $600, and it's great really? quality stuff. And overall, the room would cost about $2,000, and that's pretty average, according to the research we've done on the Nest Baby. Okay, and what's great about this room is that it's, it's equally appropriate for either a boy or a girl. Now, how do you keep it gender neutral? You know, it's all about the color and the theme. It's kind of a neutral backdrop and colors that are gender neutral. Turquoise and green and, you know, orange is even a color that, that a couple could use to keep it fresh but, but neutral. Okay, well, let's bring our couple in. What do you think, guys? We love it. It's just beautiful. I just love how all the colors tied together. It's just amazing. I am thrilled with it. I'm going to be spending more time in here than the baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, there you have it. A little thought, planning, and research can go a long way in making sure that you enjoy making room for your baby. Thank you.